We are recording again. <clears throat> we have tea. Indeed we have. I mean, indeed we do. <clears throat> also, it occurs to me that uh, in the previous episode we forgot to do any sort of intro, I think. So, behold! <laughs> intro! <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> we're doing Deja Vu again, which is the forum leakage doodaddery uh, stories is that were. It is where we take the uh, uh, roleplay posts from our forum and uh, mangle them into more processed story material. Mm hmm. But st it's still quite low stakes. It's not like fully. Yes. Although at the beginning it was like glancing blows, right? Just cuts here and there, and you know, tied it up a little bit. Now we're properly rewriting bits and pieces, and so it's become a bit more higher stakes, but it's still yeah, pretty low it, stakes. It has escalated a little, little bit. Yeah, but not to the point where it's like panic stations or anything like yeah, that. So. so basically the the goal of this project is to share what we got, practice what we have, and uh, the output goal is to produce a serviceable and often hammy second draft. Mm -hmm. The hammier the better. <laughs> yeah, so we, we pretty much, we, we call it the hammy draft. So first, first there is the the shitty text, then there is the hammy draft or hammy text, and, and then there is all the further stages. The s serious business yo stages. <laughs> and I think I made this point on Twitter the other day. All right, it's important. Like there was, there's a thing in Harbour City where one of the detectives is interviewing an old lady and she's like, this used to be such a nice neighbourhood but now you've got kids driving up and down and selling drugs, shooting each other, playing their hip hops, you know. And it, it's stuff like that. It's humorous as you're working on the notes and it's important to keep things light and funny. All right? And then when you come back to them and to fix them or to make them the proper version, it's... It's light-hearted, you know, you, you, you enjoy the process more because there's all these little jokes in it. They don't stay like that. The, the old lady probably isn't going to say, with the hip-hops, you know. Um, but it made me laugh at the time, and I think that's important to just, you know, it keeps things fresh. And uh, It's like even in Seeker, when we were writing Seeker, there's funny moments in Seeker that break it up, and they stayed. And, uh, Which one? You know, like for example, when they're talking to each other in the in the stasis pods, and uh, what do you say to? How do you tuck your brother in, basically? Like that I, sort of I thing. I have it right here because I'm translating it. Oh, how handy! handy. Destiny <laughs> has brought us here, and fate and <laughs> twists of the galaxy. Uh, having given all her best instructions. She stood by pod number one, fortunes oversized, just as rags hung over her arms, struggling for some words of reass reassurance before the lights out. Hey, you know how this whole family stuff works, right? What are you supposed to say when talking in a long lost sibling? Fortune grinned. Don't ask me, I grew up an only child. <laughs> me too! <laughs> <laughs> See, so oh. it's stuff like that that breaks up sort of like all the serious stuff that's going on and sort of keeps you reading a little bit but I feel the same thing sort of applies when I'm working on my first drafts like keep it fresh keep it interesting keep it funny and you want to come back to it you want to see those things again and yeah they sometimes they don't stay but sometimes they do and <laughs> it's glorious but that was a tangent that was meant to be an intro and I just went off on one so I apologise for that uh, intro just... mm -mm. ta da I should probably leave, you, leave those to you in the future. <laughs> I think you could do it a bit more succinctly than I can. Okay. Fecundly! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, no, wait, fecund is an already an adjective. I don't think you can say fecundly. In a fecund manner! We could say fecundly. We'll make it a new word. Like talking. Yes, so 
<clears throat> I think we we are slipping into into procrastination here. <laughs> mm. Where what's what's the goal? Where are we? Um, there? We have this scene to bring together. So basically, we we have pieces of this scene that are already working. We just need to put together the connective tissue. Uh, maybe read, read it aloud a little bit so that we can get going better. You you do the reading. I will drink my tea while you do. <laughs> I know things are looking a little bit rough, right, tough right now, but I am convinced no, no, that together. No, 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 no. Okay. Look, look, Where look, am I look, starting from? Look, look, look. Oh, okay, look. okay. Start from the beginning. Yes. Right. Okay. Remind me again. Why did you guys bring so much shit? Taniki shoved a piece of beach muck off the ramp with her foot. And more importantly, why do we have to take it all to the new ship? Mux fell into step beside her. I know it's stupid, but just roll with it. At least he's not talking. Don't say... Valued members of the crew, gather round! Corey had climbed atop a, atop a cargo crate and puffed his chest against the wind. Ah, oh, great. Taniki rolled her eyes. Our glorious leader wishes to dispense his thoughts. The group slowly congregated around him. Corey swept his hand across them. Them, the group, the horizon... I know things are looking a little bit tough right now, but I am convinced that together we can do this. Alexis, the new Alexis is where we belong. We need to move on from the ship that was and bring our future to the ship that is. And by future, you mean the broken crates, Taniki muttered to herself. Fate and the twists of the galaxy have brought us here. Everything happens for a reason, and it is our duty to fulfill that reason. I will personally see to it. Is there something wrong with you? I mean, okay, that's just, that's pretty much oh, okay. And then Corey continues as though not to spoke. We're back into note territory now. Mm -hmm. For now, I need everybody conti to continue doing what you were doing before I summoned you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? There's some catharsis there. I think right, you read that and you're like, ah, oh, if I get it. Okay. Is there something wrong with... Sorry, what is it? Nux... Uh, uh, what does Nux do? There should probably be a... Buh? Artful arc. Hammy draft is hammy. Yep, straight no mess in. Get in there with all the ham. Okay. Since there's a lot of arm sweeps and things going on, I don't want Nux to be like. You know. He should be more like. Yeah. Like digging his heels to the ground and like. He's starting to have enough of this shit mm. so it's like are you sure you didn't hit your head on the way here right that's better than what originally was okay so that expresses everything in a nice punchy way and Nux He's got his arms folded and he's huffing a little bit. Um, uh, uh, and Maybe kick, kicking his heels, who's? Tinnicky's no, already... I think, I th I think uh, just holding his arms is enough. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, and then Corey. Uh, Are you quite sure? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Folded his arms. Or like, are, you, are you quite sure you haven't hit your head since we landed? Max folded his arms. Are you quite sure you haven't hit your head since we landed? And Boy. then Corey could give him like a minor glance and then carry on. Uh, yes. <laughs> Corey gave him a side glance and carried on. Yeah. For now, I need everybody to... <laughs> okay, not as far as his arms. Are you quite sure you haven't hit your head since you landed? Corey gave him a sideways glance or just a side look or what are we going for here? Mm? Oh, I like that. Yeah, you've nailed that. Okay, um, Corey gave him a sideways glance and carried on. Sideways glance um, is what the bartender in picking up trash does to Corey after lighting his cigarette. Um, so there's... No, not sideways a... glance, just a side glance. Okay, just a side glance. Corey gave him a side glance and carried on. Dash, side, dash, glance. Comma and carried on, or just ain't carried on. If it's, uh, I was just, just that's all yeah. right. It's it's more like uh, since the side glance is given in passing, not the separate action. No comma. Um. Okay, so there's a bit here where Nox is like, oh, I can't fucking handle this. I'm out. Um. So Nox, Nox wanders off, but like, Risto, Mariah, and the group are still sort of there. Mental, <laughs> mental desk flip. <laughs> so he, he basically he, he stomps off. Yeah. Across the uh, dunes or something. Yeah. Well, that is. Okay, so let's get this uh, Risto and Mariah thing done. So what? I'm, I'm Beating assuming shall that... continue until morale improves. <laughs> <laughs> what is the other one? There's... I can't remember the other one. I think it was on that Killing Floor Two level. Uh, the best elf is a dead elf. Hmm. No, you. Do you mean like a motivational quote? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. The other week, all right, this is another tangent. <laughs> the other week, uh, I was sat here talking to Fred about the story and things that I include in the story and how real life has influenced me. And I was like, what was that thing that I put in Outrunners that I that was relevant? Like we'd done it once, and I put it in an Outrunners story, and it was it was great. It worked really well. And I spent the whole week, it wasn't until the next Sunday when he came back that he was talking about it, talking about something else. And I was like, oh my God, it was when we paid that homeless person to keep a lookout when we were coming home from that thing. We were coming home from a, a, a not a festival, like a, a night out. Like we went and see Hilltop Hoods or someone. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the way back, there, was, there were no toilets. So Fred paid a homeless geezer to keep lookout while he went and took a slash. And that ended up in Outrunners as like a backstory of one of the characters. Like we like it's it's not the first time I've slept rough. Like we had to we missed the last bus and we had to stay out and I paid a homeless buyer. Blah 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 blah. But well, <laughs> just the point of this was it took me a week to remember something and it it hit me like a flash and now I can't remember what was going with this. <laughs> but yeah, that was a fun story. And it only took thirty seconds. So let's crack on. Motivational quotes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was it. Yeah. I think it was something like, "Who needs food if da da da?" Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll have to go watch some videos. 
Or play some killing floor, I don't can... know. Is is the Krampus Slayer map currently active? I I hope so. I don't wanna It should be because we we played it after after Christmas actually, didn't mm -hmm. we? I think we I think we played it in February at some point as well, which I was kinda surprised about. Um if you so say maybe. So. If, if it's on our systems, it would seem rather redundant to just keep that there for 11 months of the year when you can't do yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think uh, the the map is there. It's just that the uh, Zs are no longer in Christmas garb. Mm. And, and we had different bosses. Not just the Krampus, uh, but we <laughs> had the... Uh, King Flesh Pound or something? Yeah, the Pounder Gang and and some others. Pound, Pounder Gang just triggered my uh, New <laughs> Vegas a little bit there. Ooh. Oh no, wait, different game. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so, work. <clears throat> yes. Uh, before I go on a tangent about New Vegas for the next hour. Uh, um, so, instead of Ignoring him, Nox should just sort of like, eh, and stomp away. Stomps uh. off across the dunes. So let's get rid of this, because that's just spelling out what Nox is doing, basically. Some sort of... Pardon me. Uh, this action should be longer. It's like... Knox opened his mouth to say something else, then reconsidered and stomped off across the dunes. Or stomped farther across the dunes. Uh, something like this. Mm -hmm. Usually I go with Knox drew breath. Just, you know, right, proper, yeah. <laughs> but we should, I need to get away from doing uh, that. Reese and Moray nodded to each other, then to Corey. Full stop. Yep. And, uh, just uh, continue with the, with, the li with the dialogue line. So the dialogue line goes straight after full stop. Right there? Yep. Reese and Moray nodded to each other, then to Corey. Instructions acknowledged. Full stop. We shall we shall resume work now. Shall. We shall, okay. Yeah. And uh, say something that uh, they uh, not they not as they Okay. Let me type it in, I have an idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tend to be working with something as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
Yes, perfect. And now the da 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 da. <laughs> Mia, oh my god, every time I anything she's doing in note form is fantastic, always. Of okay. course, we, na we need to make it into not note form, but into, mm -hmm. you know, text form. <laughs> oh, she just puts a smile on my face whenever I see that she's <laughs> around. Uh, actually, we need to uh, insert her bouncy action somewhere in before. Because mm. otherwise it's it's like coming out of nowhere. So when the group is slowly congregated, congregating, then Mia should like slide in <laughs> from the side, like I don't know, I don't know <laughs> on a hoverboard or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make a note of that here. Uh, Mia bouncy action. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mariah exchanged another mutual... Oh, actually, let's roll this back. Risto and Mariah nodded to each other, then to Corey. Instructions... In... Ha <laughs> ha Let's try that again. My mm. mouth just suddenly became very dry. Mmm. Mm -mm. It's like a desert in here. <laughs> okay. Risto and Mariah nodded to each other, then to Corey. Instructions acknowledged. We shall resume work now. They picked up the crate they'd been carrying before the gathering and resumed as if nothing had happened. Tanicki followed them, pretending to support the crate from the side. How can you guys be so calm? This is unnecessary and moronic! Mariah exchanged another mutual understanding smile with Risto. Indeed it is. We are fulfilling our obligations to the crew. Tanicki threw her hands up and wandered off as Risto and Mariah lifted another crate off the pile. Oh, uh, uh, as they set down yeah. the crate they've already got? Yeah, because we have changed the action. Okay. So, something like this. Get rid of this lifted another one off the pile. Uh, as Risa and Murray set the crate down. St uh, yeah, oh my god. Okay, that's just a failing on my behalf there. <laughs> <laughs> set, the down set the crate down. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Words! <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, uh, so we we could follow Tanik's viewpoint a little bit. So as as she is following uh, uh, Nux, uh, she could she could be almost run down by Mia on a hover cart or something. Uh, or like basically <laughs> <laughs> uh, T skip where we are dicking about uh, obviously <laughs> these are just the notes <laughs> <laughs> yeah so basically she leaves Moire and Risto B so that's that's what point one uh, she leaves them be. She uh, wanders off to find Nux so that they mm -hmm. can commiserate. And on the way, she might have to dodge Mia, who is mid action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who is doing X? <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> she's not doing X. She's that X is the action. No, stay away from that. Okay, team almost. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so she okay. finds Snugs, maybe in the cargo hold or something, and like. Ah! Mhm. Mm finds Snugs. <laughs> Exasperated. How long do you expect this to go on? Uh. Okay, so this this again is looks worse than it is actually. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't want to say after she recovered from you know or anything uh, like that. Basically, she just uh, her her, uh, her action just continues. So she is walking away from 
Moire and Risto uh, try, uh, her so it's like she's point A is Moire and Risto point mm -hmm. B is wherever Nux is she is making her way from point A to point B there might be a, an interrupt, uh, a slight interruption when uh, she runs into Mia or vice versa, and once she go, once she gets to point B, then she will just carry on with dialogue. So no, no extra action needed even. Right. So she's already left. Nikki threw her hands up and wandered off mm -hmm. as they set the crate down. So this is that's covered. Um, it doesn't explicitly say that she's going off to find Nux, but this is the this is the journey now where mm -hmm. potential Mia interruption. Uh, so on the way has to dodge Mia, who uh, oh. does something. Yeah. She has to she has to dodge Mia and her trolley, whatever. Maybe. Uh, she also sees uh, Smith, who is having a determined frown and is sort of beelining towards Corey mm. in a in a uh, with a speech in her in her mind. <laughs> but for now, uh, Taniki is walking off, touching Mia. Catching up with Nux and then dialogue. I can't will the words into the keyboard. They're just, it's not coming. <laughs> no, my false powers are not kicking in. Damn. Words. No, no. Uh, something terrible has happened, and I have completely me, lost the let ability me to write. Get the notes down because right now I know what I want to be here. So, and wandered off. Wandered off. What a what a magnif magnificent name. Baron von Wanderdorf. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that well, that's gonna be a character <laughs> in some craziness. That sounds like something that. Uh, Domino would call one of her difficult to find suspects who might be of the higher class. Yes. marker here because it uh, it won't show otherwise okay so you could probably get rid of this as well this uh wait I understand this isn't working eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> well, once he did, da 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 da. Technical term. 
Uh, I think uh, this this one's probably the keeper from all this mess. That's. I think this is what Taniki should say in response to Knox. What was he like? Well, for one, he would be the first to carry this shit. Uh, oh, so we need to clean this part up a little bit. We need to lose some lines here, I think. So potential for Knox to inquire about Taniki's quarry. Oh, they exchanged and exasperate, so this should just be Anne, right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool, sorry. Uh, I can't remember. Extension, that's right, look, I'm going to go one. It's turned his attention back to the container. Just a busy, I understand this isn't working eventually. Hopefully. I'm not so sure how many people are there. Yeah, it's just Anne, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Your Corey, I mean. Uh, well, for one, I, th I prefer for one, like she's matter of fact about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to pull that one back up. Here we're the first, like, and this is where she's like, well, he's not afraid to use what he was given, whereas this Corey is like, he doesn't want to use. Mm, technology. <laughs> 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 I can totally appreciate that because I tell my parents these days that I can't handle them and their newfangled technology because they've got all fancy iPhones and stuff like that and I'm just mm. here with my Fire Phone that's like five years old now. Carry on, Amazon Fire Phone, you can do it. Um, <laughs> all these kids with their newfangled technology. Like he was trying to explain the Skybox to me the other day. It's like, right, we've got, we've got two Skyboxes so now you can record on both of them and... And he tried to explain it to me, and I just couldn't wrap my head around the interface. I was just like, no, this, I, no, I'm out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, he will put his augmented ass on the line first. Uh, then there needs to be something else here, like Taniki oh, probably needs wait, to... wait, wait, oh. wait. We actually have the shit we, we just need to remove the stuff that we don't need. Well, for one, he would be the first to carry, carry this shit. He would be the first to carry the heavy shit. God, we're so close, aren't we? <laughs> Paragraph done. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you push it! <laughs> push the words out! No! Uh, stop going. Oh. I, I, think, uh, as, I think he sold them out as a group. I don't think it was just a solo one on one left to Nikki. Yeah, sold us out is vague enough that we can later on pick up and elaborate on but uh, yeah let's let's keep it more vague here and turn into specifics some other time if we go into specifics uh so wait wait let's see well so fuck no bastard sold us out uh da -da.
I would still point out the left her out to die thing. Okay. So it's like very personal. Left. <laughs> Lift. <laughs> to the lift. What? <laughs> oh god, Snicky's gonna adopt a New Zealand accent now. <laughs> lift me to die. <laughs> that was more Australian. I apologise. <laughs> Oh, the touching memorial thing is uh, uh, is not something that Nux says, but something that Taniki might have said. Mm. In that case, let's see. Straight up. Conclusion. <laughs> the bit I was laughing at, I've read a little bit further on, and it's when when Smith walks up to Corey and she's like, Now listen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's make it simple. Oh, nice. Straight up, no messing. I love it. <laughs> Cabron, <laughs> I've been. Uh, I I told you the other day that I've been watching the Spanish. Uh, Minister, oh, I can't el, remember. El Ministerio del Tiempo. <laughs> I was I was almost there. <laughs> del Tiempo, I'm guessing means time. Because yeah, Ministry of Time. It, yeah. It's a it's a time travel show, and. Uh, When uh, when I was like in like I wouldn't say growing up but like in early teens and such, we started having uh, the Mexican telenovelas here, and uh, my concept of Spanish was uh, was more uh, Mexican, and now the uh, the Spanish Sp Spanish Spanish uh, has slightly different pronunciation and slightly different emphasis, so it's like. Discovery, <laughs> <laughs> and and some some of the vocabulary is also slightly different. Like they they use cabron a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, this is this is not a task for today, but for some other day, if we would be able to come up with foreign or what what whatever the native language for Taniki is if mm. we, we if we can come up with some native insults in the long run that that would also be very nice and flavorful get behind that and then the Smith Corey moment which in itself is just magic <laughs> um 
Oh, we're so close. We're actually like near scene two. <sighs> so close. What do you want to do? Uh, I think let's not push it. Let's, okay, yeah, I'm in agreement let's, there. Let's, let's hold this moment of readiness and this sort of geared upness and maybe resume tomorrow. Mm hmm. And for today, I would prescribe some zombies. Yeah, can do. Mm, maybe. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, um, yeah, let's bank this recording. There is a cat at the windowsill. I must let the cat in. Ugh. Is she going to pay us a visit, I wonder? Oh, don't knock over the cup of tea. Yes. Yeah, so Come on, kick out. While you are letting the cat in, I shall do the outro. So this has been our work session working on the Forum Leakage Project Deja Vu. Uh, we shall resume probably tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And uh, this post and ones like this can be found in our homepage, which I will immediately show in the screen. Mm, excuse me. Low tech for the win. <laughs> and other story samples can be found in our homepage under the tab called logs where we have all sorts of other chronicling chronically stuff like uh, news and book releases and uh, and personal achievements and such Oh, she does not like being picked up, I don't Aww. think. Look, say hello, Hash. Hello, Hash. <laughs> hey, uh, fluffy tail. A fluffy tail. So, here, among the work sessions and other videos, you can also find the posts that are called Story Time. And uh, this post, once we complete it, will also go up there. In the meantime, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Tune in, etc., etc., etc. Bye. <laughs>